Abd al-Masih, or Abda, was a Jewish Christian martyr of late antiquity. Abd al-Masih, born Asher ben Levi of unknown date was a converted Jewish shepherd boy later canonized as a saint, who was killed by his father for his faith. The story is set in Sangara and is a Syriac text with later versions in Arabic and Armenian. He lived near Sinjar in the Persian Empire. Having been converted to Christianity he pierced his ear to wear earring, probably indication of his slavery. He died in 3980. There is disagreement about the location of his martyrdom. Some sources say Singer, in modern Iraq near the Syrian border, and others say Taglabais in Arabia. He is regarded as the patron saint of sterile women in Syria, and has his feast day observed on July 13, and July 22 or October 3. Saint Adalgat II of Dysentis, died 1165, was a 12th century monk and bishop. He entered Clairvaux Abbey as a monk, and was appointed as abbot of Dysentis. Adalgat cared for the sick and poor. He was subsequently named Bishop of Kur, and continued to care for the poor. He founded a hospital in 1150. He is venerated as a Roman Catholic saint. His feast day is celebrated on 3rd of October. Szilard Ignitz Bogdanfi, February 21, 1911, October 3, 1953, was a Roman Catholic Auxiliary Bishop of Sagu Mer and Oradea of the Latins. On October 30, 2010 he was proclaimed blessed in a ceremony held in the Cathedral Basilica of Street Mary, Oradea, Romania, being recognized as a martyr of the communist period. His beatification took place on October 30, 2010 in Oradea. Saint Mass with 200 priests, 42 bishops and two cardinals guided and during it preached Cardinal Petr Erdu, Archbishop of Estergom Budapest, President of the Council of European Bishops Conferences, CCEE. The same ceremony of beatification was presided by the Cardinal and Archbishop Angelo Amato, President of the Congregation for Causes of the Saints. He is the first Catholic martyr during the Communist regime in Romania to be elevated to the honor of the altars. Saint Dionysius the Areopagite was an Athenian judge at the Areopagus court in Athens, who lived in the first century. A convert to Christianity, he is venerated as a saint by multiple denominations. As related in the Acts of the Apostles, Acts 1734, he was converted to Christianity by the preaching of Paul the Apostle during the Areopagus sermon, according to Dionysius, Bishop of Corinth, as quoted by Eusebius. He was one of the first Athenians to believe in Christ. Tradition holds that earlier, at a young age, he found himself in Heliopolis of Egypt just at the time of Christ's crucifixion in Jerusalem. On that great Friday, at the time of the crucifixion of Christ, according to the Gospel, from noon until three in the afternoon darkness came over all the land. Matthew 27 45. The young boy, Dionysius was shocked by this paradoxical phenomenon and exclaimed, God suffers or is always despondent, God suffers or is lost all. He took care to note the day and hour of this supernatural event of the darkness of the sun. The two walls, or two walls, were Saint Aval the Black and Saint Aval the Fair, martyrs in Old Saxony about 692. Both bore the same name, but were distinguished by the difference in the color of their hair and complexions. They began their mission labors about 690 at the ancient Saxons country, now part of Westphalia, and covered by the dioceses of Munster, Osnabrück, and Paderborn. They are honored as saints in Westphalia. St. Francis Borgia, 4th Duke of Gandia S. J. Valencian, Francesc de Borja, Spanish, Francisco de Borja 1510-1572, venerated as St. Francis Borgia, was a great-grandson of Pope Alexander VI, a grandee of Spain, a Spanish Jesuit, and third superior general of the Society of Jesus. He was canonized on June 20, 1670 by Pope Clement X. Saint Gerard, in Walloon Saint Gerard, c. 895, October 3, 959, was an abbot of Brown Abbey. A native of Staves, Namur, he was a member of the family of Dukes of Lower Austrasia. Originally a soldier, he rebuilt a family chapel into a large church and later became a monk at Saint Denis. He was then ordained priest. He returned to Brown, where he fought the laxity of clerics there and replaced them with monks. He retired to a cell near the monastery for mortification. Saint Theodore Garan, October 2, 1798, May 14, 1856, designated by the Vatican as Saint Theodora, and born Anne Therese Garan, was a French-American saint and the foundress of the Sisters of Providence of Saint Mary of the Woods, a congregation of Catholic sisters at Saint Mary of the Woods, Indiana. Pope John Paul II beatified Garan on October 25, 1998, 
and Pope Benedict XVI canonized her a saint of the Roman Catholic Church on October 15, 2006. Garan's feast day is 3rd of October. On this day event is an educational project. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel.